What is going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we are building my first client's pond. It's going to be insane. This is my pond, but it's going to be insane and it's going to be awesome. We're going to go get the rock loaded up at their house and then get all the tools unloaded and then we're going to start digging. I'll see you guys there. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Got all the rock unloaded, tools unloaded, this unloaded, plants unloaded. Pond's going right here. I'll see you guys on the dig day. shows well pretzel pizza is not terrible so I decided to get back to work I wanted to get some stuff done so I got a lot dug out then Zane helped then Malachi came and started helping and here's Ian enjoying his I think he had 10 slices which is really impressive actually and then we got back to work out the area I'm trying to get it as level and flat as we can and anything left we're gonna put on the berm now in a second we're about to put uh, our um, our 10 by 20 um, underlayment and that's this is really high quality underlayment um, I was very surprised um, it was great um, so then we flattened it out Malachi sat in it like it was a hot tub for a bit and then we did this whatever this was um, yeah, so we kind of leveled it out. It was cutting it really close to the edge. We dug it a little too far, but that was okay. Okay, so we realized we weren't recording. That's awesome. So now we got our liner in. This gave me the most anxiety ever was hooking up this skimmer. It's nothing like the high quality of an Aquascape skimmer, but it was a nice skimmer. I did use silicone even though they said you didn't have to. I found some fish safe silicone at my hardware store. This was hard because the liner was actually so durable, it was hard to poke the holes. So I had to poke the holes with scissors and do it. Yeah, um, there's our, um, the person having us build the pond, bringing snacks. What an awesome person. And then, okay, so we did a ton. And then one of the most funny people in the group, all of a sudden, I had to go and do some school. And the glare is terrible here. And suddenly we got went a lot faster. But... I don't think that had anything to do with him. Now I'm trimming the liner to about 16 inches. Here's me working on the waterfall. We did notice later there was a mistake and we had to add some extra liner and attach it. Um, I added some aquatic hey. plants. It is me sitting at my computer editing. It got dark really fast and that waterfall issue took a lot longer. You see, the instruction said nothing about it being attached to the waterfall and I know that's how it's normally done but it didn't look like it needed it I noticed later it does need it and I did not want that mistake so I pulled all the rock up I wanted it perfect for them and I added a huge piece of liner over that attached so we had no leaks no issues there's no leaks no issues now the pond is done mulches around it at this point I have waterfall foam oh wait wrong hand I'm looking at this wrong Ugh waterfall foam all over me it's in my eyes and I'm tired I just took a bath 
I'm gonna go watch some Lone Star Law or something. I don't know. I'm really tired. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to bring you guys, and we are going to go look at what we've done, and we're gonna finish up some mulch. We're gonna go get some more rock, finish up some edging. There are a few patches of liner still need covered. And I will see you guys there. Thank you for sticking along. Thank you for enjoying this video. Um, this is probably the intermission, but if you haven't yet, go subscribe because we build cool ponds. And what do you have to lose, right? So go subscribe right now. I'll see you guys later when we're at there. I'll see you in just a sec. Look at that. The pond is completed. We still have to hide the biofalls in the skimmer, but that's just going to happen off camera. Right now, to make sure there's no leaks, I'm marking the water level. So right here, I'm going to mark where the water's at. And then, from there, I can make sure and test later. So this is it. This is what I've designed for them. Fits in perfect in their backyard. We just finished mulching it up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like pond videos, make sure to go subscribe and hit that like button. I mean, check out the skimmer. This thing is a beast. It's a beast of a skimmer. And yeah, we still have to do some electrical, but I'll just do that off camera. So you can see, look at the waterfall right here. Look how these rocks just knock it off right there. We gotta get a flat rock on top of that and some more plants. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure you go subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.